I thoroughly enjoyed my time with this creepy and yet pleasing game. I am Chocolatier Games with Computer Figures Network, and today I will be taking a look at Beholder. Beholder is a sort of dystopian management game where you are Carl Stein, a man living in a totalitarian state who must keep tabs on all of his tenants, reporting the ones he feels are suspicious whilst looking after his family. The individual concepts are very explored in many different games, but combined together to make a unique medley. The base gameplay consists of talking with various tenants to gain quests and information. You will receive your orders from the Ministry of Information, which is a nice little nod to George Orwell's 1984, and they will tell you who or what they want you to keep tabs on, report, or remove to suit their needs. The decisions do a good job of ramping up over time, starting out seeming good in their intentions, but later you need to throw innocent people under the bus to protect yourself and serve the ministry. The game's choices to affect the game, and doing so can lead to you being killed, which then provides you with one of the most depressing death scenes I've ever seen in any game. The game does allow you to help certain people, such as letting some get away from the evil clutches of the government. The multiple avenues and ways you can tackle problems make the game feel more real. Some of the things take away from the reality of the game though, such as when your tenants get upset from you entering the room. This makes sense on its own, but the game doesn't allow you to do something such as lie and say you need to do maintenance on the room. This frustrated me as the game required a lot of waiting around for people to leave their room before I could plant drugs or whatever was necessary. The game's art is very stylized and the muted color palette is very nice. I always love when a color palette matches the mood and tone of a game, and this works out really well with the dismal atmosphere of Beholder. Even some of your tenants will comment on the dreary atmosphere and say it reflects life in the state. The sound design also matches this really well, with nobody or nothing making loud or emotional sounds. The only times you'll hear sounds with heavy emotions are when mobs of people run rampant screaming through the streets. Beholder is full of small touches to enhance the mood of the game. Everything from muted sound effects to the dismal music to the truly small things, like the way your tenants' animations work and the lines of dialogue available, all contribute to this aura of hopelessness that Beholder provides. For only $9.99, Beholder provides a memorable experience with quality, stylized art and sound effects to boost. I certainly won't be forgetting my time with Beholder anytime soon, and with this in mind, Beholder earns itself a 9 out of 10 with a label of depressing. If this game looks promising to you, you should check out my review for the DLC for Beholder, Blissful Sleep. Then check out the link in the description or the info card right now. And if you enjoyed this video and want to hear more, consider supporting me on Patreon, where for just $1 or more per month, you can help reviews like this happen. That is patreon.com slash chocolatier games. I have been Chocolatier Games. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye